<coughs> Let's see if I can get some people in here right quick, man. Let's see if I can get some people in here right quick. I ain't even trying to be real long with this, man. I know people been talking about this all day. I just want to be able to get on here and talk some ish. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people, a lot of people been having stuff to say, man, when they on this internet, man. But it's like, you know, you ain't bringing nobody on to try to even challenge what you're saying. You just trying to be on your page. Like anybody that come on here right now, if you want to try to debate me on that, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm about to, I'm about to read type this and I should have in the beginning because I had to tell I had to uh so we let me see let me see if I can get some people in here right quick man let's see anybody want to chop it up I'm trying to invite as many people as I can you know? a lot of people I know people ain't gonna be on here but we'll see couple hours ago man people you know what i mean all right let's let them go ahead so uh yo what up though so man i'm just gonna start off man um if you don't know by now uh the artist rapper entrepreneur nipsey hustle was gunned down yesterday in california and immediately today man everybody's been talking about these conspiracy things and what happened and what not happened uh, last night, you even had a dude get on here. You had a dude on here um, get on the social media last night talking about he shot Nipsey. The nigga went live. <sighs> Look, man, I'm just going to say this off top, man. Black people, black people especially, we, we love to just think that this American shit is just peaches and cream when it comes to how they take us out, man. Like, we won't, we won't try to analyze shit, even in plain sight, B. Even in plain sight. Now, some people, would be, some people all on my timeline today, people have been like, well, what is the, what is the government? What is the government? What is the government? What, 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 why would the government, why would the government kill Nipsey Hussle over a, a Dr. Shabby documentary? Why would he do, why would they do that? So check this out, man. If you know anything about how this shit work out here, you look at how they took out Malcolm. You look at how they took out others. Man, Jennifer, get up out of here, man. Talking about you hungry. Man, you need to you need to go eat. You need to go eat. Don't eat don't eat no pig sandwich though. You need to go eat you something healthy. Go matter of fact, go look up Dr. Sabi. <laughs> but people on here like, man, what was the what's the conspiracy? What's the conspiracy? Like, man, if you know how this works, man. He got shot multiple times in the chest and one in the head. He was at an event. Tell me how that execution assassination wasn't different than Malcolm X's assassination. Don't worry, I'll wait. I'll wait. How is that different? How is that different? He died similar to the same way Malcolm X did it. So... To think that <clears throat> now they got footage of this on TMZ. Now how the fuck does TMZ get this footage and is able to just show this to him? Like how is TMZ able to break this footage? And they the only ones that get this man. Like there's cameras all around through that area. You mean to tell me TMZ is the only official ones to let this footage out? Like I don't really go for that, yo. I don't go for that, man. And you shouldn't go for that shit either, man. You shouldn't go for that shit either. All right? You shouldn't go for that, man. You shouldn't go for that, man. Look, man. This dude, Nipsey Hussle, was a conscious dude. You look at any of this old footage. Nipsey Hussle has some form of consciousness. I saw footage with him as a young dude, real young, talking about Kemet, talking about the pyramid, talking about real things. So there's a couple things, man. Like, first thing is, man, to think that there wasn't something organized to get him out of there. 
I mean, because let's be honest, man, this dude had, he had his streets on lock. You understand what I'm saying? He had his streets. He had a, a whole part of Crenshaw, Slauson, South Central. He had, he had a whole area that people respected him from. So I'm seeing something on here now saying that it was a dude that, I mean, TMZ showed this footage, man, but it's like, man, TM, you can't really tell what the footage is, man. You see, you see. You know, this arrow pointing, and you see, like, people running. <clears throat> and it shows, like, a body hit the floor. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, what does it really show you, though? They don't, now, you know, my dumbass cousin got on here earlier talking about, well, you can, you can uh, focus in. You can focus in, and, and that's, okay, so if you can focus in, then, uh, yeah, it's on some program. I know they are, but if TMZ could focus in, or if anybody, they could take that footage and fo focus in when they have who the suspect is right now. And, I mean, I'm reading things saying that, you know what I mean, the suspect was this dude that got on, um, live, uh, went on one of these social medias live the other day, last night, and he said he killed Nipsey Hussle. Now, I mean, if you smart, come on, man. If you smart, if you smart, if a nigga really did do that, you know what I mean? Wouldn't he be the suspect? Wouldn't he be the one that they focusing on if he ain't dead already? Wouldn't he be announced? See, all these things is coming from secondhand information, but it's like, yo, people need to really try to relax on, oh, man, this was just some street shit. And, and, and you know, I'm reading some saying that this dude was a snitch. And he told him to get away from him, and the dude came back. Let me ask you this, man. What street people do you know is going to let a snitch walk? If you know somebody that's been snitching, street street dudes is letting these people just roam freely, and you've been snitching? I don't really think that Nipsey was cut from that cloth, yo. If this dude was really a snitch, you think that Nipsey Hustle? Wouldn't it have something done to this person to make sure they never come around them again? Now, were they a snitch or were they a dope fiend? But still, at the end of the day, man, how would you, how would you, how can you just say that this person might have not have been talked to, spoken to? You never know. You never know. You never know. How do we know? Because, I mean, they shot the nigga five times in the chest and, like, one in the head, B. Nigga, do you know how precise? And two other people got shot, nigga. Do you know how precise a nigga got to be? You know what I'm saying? Niggas, look, man. Look, man. I understand niggas may be ex-military. Niggas may be ex-this, ex-this, and done this and done that. But let's be honest, man. Two other people got shot. This nigga gets shot five times in the chest and one in the head. And you mean to tell me that nobody came and talked to this person? Nobody came. Look, man, the bodyguard wasn't even there. This nigga bodyguard wasn't even there. His bodyguard, his his bodyguard, Nipsey Hussle's all the time bodyguard wasn't there. He gave the nigga the day off. So you mean to tell me that Nipsey... And that's another thing, man. We just got to, it, it is a big lesson learned. It's a big, I don't know if he was an informant. I'm not going to say, you know what I mean? Now, I, what I've, you know what I mean? I'm going off of, you know, some of what I heard, um, you know what I mean? Through other people's stations, you know what I mean? About, you know, uh, supposedly the dude's cousin called into one of these um, stations, you know what I mean? On the internet uh, live. <clears throat> and uh you know what I'm saying so you know I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't I'm not gonna say that he was an informant you know what I'm saying but it's like it's just like you know when you get to a point of success you know what I'm saying you have to be able to be prepared for your enemies and I'm saying that Nipsey man I think Nipsey was so free in in his comfort his comfort level that he wasn't, he wasn't thinking, man. He wasn't thinking. But that's what I'm saying. All this shit's kind of sketchy and it's real cloudy. And it's like, man, these people keep talking about these conspiracy theories. Does anybody know what conspiracy theory even means? Does anybody know what the definition of conspiracy theory means? If you know what the conspiracy theory means, if you know what it means, 
Somebody explain it to me. Somebody give me a definition of what conspiracy theory is. Because, man, you 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 got conspiracy theory or maybe you just got the truth. And a lot of times, man, a lot of niggas can't accept the truth. That's because we have a slave mentality where somebody tell you information and automatically Negroes buck back like, no, 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 no it's, it's because of that, no. No, 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 it ain't because of no conspiracy theory. Look, it's because of some straight shit. No, no. But, man, when you listen to and you see what's going on, you even hear people in L.A. talking about it was multiple shooters. You got people in L.A. saying that it was might have been a white or a Hispanic person. They talking about a dude, dude walked up on him and drove and drove into a car with a female. From my understanding, nigga, that whole area is congested with police, cameras, construction. You just can't hop in the car and just be out. You just can't hop in the car and just be gone. So, man, when you hear people talking about conspiracies out here, man, is it conspiracy or is it the truth, yo? Because I'm going to tell you, niggas love being full of shit. Niggas love being full of shit. You got niggas on here that barely say anything on the internet. You got niggas on here that are on here for no other purpose other than just to be attention. Niggas was never getting that attention, so they figured that social media can be their avenue. You got niggas on here that ain't said nothing about nothing, but not all of a sudden they want people want to tie in Nipsey and Sabi and the conspiracy. Now all of a sudden the niggas got a lot to say. People would rather believe the lie than actually think facts. Facts. <clears throat> yeah, I mean not only that, but you have listen, listen to me. Who who I mean you had the you have you had the government that came out and said that they killed Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King didn't die on that balcony that day in Tennessee. That nigga died in the hospital, B. And they just coming out with this information. So is that a conspiracy or is it the truth, my nigga? Like, we don't think, we don't like thinking, man. We don't like doing nothing when it comes to thinking. Man, I, I was into it with the, some people today on the social media. You got people out here, you know what I mean? Because I'm going to switch it up back and forth. But you got people talking about Sabi. Wasn't even, like, Sabi was whore. Sabi was was not even, like, somebody that, I mean, Lord have mercy, man. We get too caught up in. This 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 Negro peonism, Negro peonism. These Negroes want to be Europeans, and they love to try to do whatever they can to appease these people, man. You know what I'm saying? People talking about what what up? Cause I, 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 I look, nigga, Nipsey Hussle, Nipsey Hussle did more than Martin Luther King ever did. Who want to debate me on that? Who want to debate me on that? I'm going to say it again. Nipsey Hussle did more for black people than, than Martin Luther King. Who want to debate me on that? Tell me three things that Martin Luther King did for black people, man. I'm not talking about just walking around, holding hands, protesting, singing Kumbaya because we was out here getting our asses whooped with no human rights. Instead, we trying to seek civil rights. But then you listen to Malcolm X and Malcolm X, they got footage of him talking about how Malcolm met with these other leaders and these niggas conspired to keep black people at bay because back in the 60s, what they don't want to tell you and what your parents don't want to tell you is that niggas was getting it in in the 60s. Niggas was revolutionizing the 60s. These things that's being done right now, you couldn't do that to black people back in the day, man. 70s, you couldn't do that. 60s and 70s, you couldn't harm a young black female or a black female, period, without niggas showing some you some type of repercussions towards you. You understand what I'm saying? People ask me what Nipsey did, man. Nigga Nipsey, nigga Nipsey had programs 
for young teens that wanted to get into entrepreneurship. He brought solar energy to parts of Crenshaw. He was into real estate. My nigga, he, he was something that Martin Luther King wished he could have done. Yeah, there was more unity. But see, that's the thing. Yeah, it, it was more then. And you know what I'm saying? We, uh, you know, I'm going to blame the baby boomer generation for being the catalyst of the reason why we in the position that we in right now. Black people don't know how to do nothing together. I mean, they, they, but see, th this is what I'm going to say that. I'm going to say in 2019, maybe that ain't all meant to be for every black person. You know what I mean? I'm going to throw something else in. Like when you listen, you look at the Jehovah Witness religion, right? Jehovah Witnesses believe that there's like 100,000 of us, 100,000 people that will be masters, masters out here. You understand what I'm saying? So how do we know that ain't about to just be 100,000 self-righteous black people that be so for real shit? Because when these people, when this shit come, when this shit about to go up and they start trying to beam niggas up. When they start beaming us up out here. Because another thing you might have not known. Did you know they closed down the solar um, energy? What's the solar? Uh, what is them? They, 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 they basically damn near shut down NASA. About a couple. What was it? About a couple months ago or something like that. And so they got. They got. They got one person. One lady. She. Uh, look on my page, man. I may have her on my page. She from Indiana. She been taking photos with um, telescopes, and she looking all in the galaxy. I mean, all in the atmosphere out here. And I'm gonna tell you, people, if you think ain't no other life forms out here, these motherfuckers are circling around. They gonna come and come talk to black people, man. And they should. If you want to get biblical, you know what I mean. They had Amos. They had these aliens, quote unquote, in the Bible, man. Eight foot tall and all that. Where you think Avatar comes from? Where you think the movie Predator comes from? Where you think the movie Aliens come from? Now, the reason why I bring all this up, man, is because, man, you gonna have, basically, man, you go. This is how it is in 2019, man. You got a group of black people that are about self righteous, connecting, and if you want to call it staying woke, that's what we on. ADOS, whatever you want to call it. And then you have a whole nother demographic group of people that ain't nothing but some goddamn coons, my nigga. Niggas up on here on the social media barely be talking about anything. And then all of a sudden this Nipsey shit pop off with Sadie. Now you got a lot to say. Nigga, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Niggas like me. Niggas like me. Niggas like my nigga Sax Attack, appreciate that check in. Niggas, niggas, my nigga, my cousin, oh, Kurt, we know what's going on out here. You understand what I'm saying? We ain't got to prove nothing to you niggas. Get this understood. We don't have to prove shit to you niggas when it comes to the shit that we know. We don't have to prove a goddamn thing for the shit that we know, B. And just because we may know more than you, that don't mean we better than you. But nigga, if the shoe fits, wear that shit, my nigga. I don't know, what's that say? Ezekiel chapter, yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, all day. Yeah, Ezekiel, yeah. Come on. Yeah. It's in the Bible. It's biblical. You know what I'm saying? If you think, man, look, man, I seen, I seen, look, man, they, they got, look, man, they sold, they shut down. The solar in uh solar plants here in this country. I think it's like maybe six of them they shut down. I think it might have been in New Mexico, man. They got that shit throughout this this country. You know what I'm saying? They shut them shits down. Why? Because they didn't want you to see what the fuck was out here in this atmosphere. And there's a lady from Indiana. I got a lot of my people from napping here. There's a chick from Indiana, a, a, a white lady from Indiana that, that got on her telescope. And when they shut that shit down, she was showing shit all in the sky, all in the atmosphere. And then, God damn it, it looked like UFOs out there, B. And the reason why I keep bringing this up, man, is because... Y'all got to understand, man, if you have some for, form of consciousness, some form of righteousness, when this is time for this really to pop off, it ain't going to pop off from the way that they, they they make it out to be out here in this in this, in this this fantasy world. This shit going to be if you know some real shit or not. 
So if some shit beam down here, and they ask you, hey, what, what's uh, what's the son of God's name? What's the what's the what, not the S U N? What's the S O N? What's the God? What's what's the son of God's name? People be like Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. What if they be like, nah? What's his Hebrew name? Uh, uh, you ain't getting in, nigga. All these people that have some type of religious connection, nigga. What is what is Jesus' name in in Hebrew? Because that's what that book is really based upon. Those that were Hebrew. It's just like my name, Jay Scott, but somebody keep calling me Mark. Nigga, that's not my name. Nigga, my name ain't Mark. So we keep we we keep playing with this shit out here. You understand what I'm saying? Now, just right quick, man, with Dr. Satan. You know what I mean? Dr. Sabi, and, and and for the for like I said, for the for the facts, man, Nipsey Hussle did more for his people than Martin Luther King did. Period. You give me what Martin Luther King did that was tangible that we ended up learning from and gaining from, and I can and I you can go find out what Nipsey Hussle did just for his people in L.A. Yo, shit, the nigga didn't even get a chance to branch out of L.A. You feel me? He didn't even get a chance. You know what I'm saying? He didn't even get a fucking chance. Nigga on, nigga, uh, I don't even want to say this nigga name. Nigga on Facebook earlier up here talking about he didn't give a fuck about uh, Sabi. He didn't give a fuck about, you know what I mean, this shit with uh, Nipsey and Nipsey. And then I was like, well, what about the Martin Luther King thing? Oh, man. Nah, oh, man. Martin Luther King? This nigga said Nipsey Hussle was better than Martin Luther King. Come on, man. You, 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 come on, man. You stretching. You stretching. Nah, nigga, maybe I'm stretching your brain, nigga. And you don't know, nigga. And then you come on Facebook or social media talking dumb shit. Like, motherfucker. See, that's what I'm saying, man. People will respect people in their own camp, even if they talking dumb shit. Because the moment this nigga got to talking dumb shit, it was other motherfuckers on his shit talking about, hey, man, why don't you bring that nigga on camera? If you would have brought me on camera, I would have demolished you on your shit. You would have got emotional and you would have started yelling because there's nothing that you can say. If I ask you, what, what, what did Martin Luther King do for black people? What did he do for black people? I'm not talking about the marching. I'm not talking about the speeches. What did he do? What did he get for black people? Um, uh, he, the nigga didn't know. The nigga didn't know nothing because he didn't do nothing. If you look into MLK's around him, his right hand man was an openly gay dude who was basically the start of the gay rights movement. He had communists all around Martin Luther King. You understand? They had photos of this dude. J. Edgar Hoover had his dude had this dude on lock. This nigga was a cigarette smoker. This nigga was blowing Newport's cools. He was blowing something. Yeah, I'm talking about Martin Luther King, B. Did you know that? Niggas talking about that's a conspiracy, is it, nigga? Or can you go find that shit out? That nigga was into white women. I mean, yo, yo. Martin Luther King, yo. Was just a face, my nigga. Martin Luther King was a face. My nigga, Nipsey Hussle was a nigga that was from the mud, my nigga. I mean, I, I mean, the nigga. I mean, I forget what he, what he is, man. He's not even African American. I forget what he is, man. Somebody may be able to tell me in the chat, man. Somebody tell me in the chat right, right now, man. Hey, man, right now, man. This might even be me, my nigga. This is God talking right here, man. God talking through me right now, B. You understand what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? Get rid of segregation, which... Yeah, we need to get back to that. We need to get back to that segregation. Look, man, black people, look, man, we was out here good before we started being... See, man, that's the... Look. So, Martin Luther King and the whole civil rights, the only thing that that did was allow you to interact and actually be with white people. That's all it is. That's all it was. It gave us no extra rights. It gave us no extra constitutional nothing. We just continued to be slaves, my nigga. 
And we still talking that slave shit now. It's niggas in my age bracket talking this conspiracy dumb shit. And these niggas, like, I seen niggas on social media talking about, man, I'm tired of this. I'm tired. Lord, Lord, I'm tired of this Dr. Sabi and this Nipsey. Lords, I'm tired of it. Nigga, that's because you ain't used to hearing about motherfuckers talking about real shit. That's why. You ain't used to hearing about people talking about building off of legacies that these people did to try to help you survive as a melanated person up in this piece. You understand what I'm saying? Dr. Sabi, man, Dr. Sabi was from the, you understand, Dr. Sabi was 40 years old and had diabetes, high blood pressure, which a majority of black people do. They was getting ready to cut this nigga limbs off, yo. This nigga's from Honduras. He gets into the herbs. He becomes a holistic doctor. Then all of a sudden, in the 80s, check this out, in the 80s, Dr. Sabi was cured. I ain't gonna say it. He was uh, fixing people. Because I don't want to say nothing on here that's going to... Because I know they look at my shit. But he... Went to, he got sued by the attorney general in New York on the, 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 the accounts of him not practicing being a licensed person, licensed of medicine. So he was basically put on trial for that. Sabi comes in with over 70 people on things that they had diagnosed that they didn't have anymore. Okay, there was another dude even before Dr. Sabi that said that he had the cure for AIDS and they killed that nigga. That nigga was erased from the from all this shit. You understand what I'm saying? This is the whole thing I'm talking about, man. Now, these niggas on here, these niggas be like, I'm a conspiracy person. Nigga, I'm not. I'm talking facts, my nigga. Facts, B. Shit that you can go find. And people get on my nerves talking about Google and... You can't believe everything Google say, nigga. You can't believe the sources, but nigga, this is the age of information. And you telling me that you ain't fucking with Google, nigga? You ain't fucking with Google? This is the age of information and you ain't fucking with Google, nigga? Nigga. Okay. You ain't fucking with Google, but I guarantee if I go to your if I go to the top five searches on your phone. I know you on Google, nigga. That's what I'm saying, man. I think these niggas love to be slaves, man. They love to see real shit come out. People start talking about real things. And then they like to come in and sabotage. And, and, and like to be on that coonery and buffoonery, man. You understand what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I had a nigga right now. I don't even want to say his name, man. Nigga on here right. I don't think he's on here right now. But this nigga been on my page. I've been on his page. And he's just been talking bullshit, man. Just talking bullshit to me. You understand what I'm saying? But let me stay focused. So Dr. Sabi, you understand with this, man. Dr. Sabi, and see, what I like about Dr. Sabi was that the things that they have on him, it's, just, it's on the internet. It's on the internet. And you got to understand, man, he, he, it, it, okay. So let, let's, 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 let's go back a little, peel a little back. Let's say if Sabi was alive right now. If Sabi was alive right now, and let's say Sabi, all a lot of his things were being practiced right now as far as what he can do or what he has done, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing about to challenge this big pharmaceutical shit. How many people you got in your family? How many family members you got in your family? The moment you get to talking about, I'm not taking this medicine no more. They like, oh, Lord, you ain't about to take that medicine. Oh, Lord, nigga, you better take that medicine if you're trying to live. Yo, how many people you got in your family like that, man? Hit me, hit me with a thumbs up or something, man. Let me know that y'all, how many people in your family, you know, the moment that something go wrong, they make sure you stick to them doctors. They make sure you go to your appointments. If you ain't taking no me these medicines, man, do you understand what these medicines be out here doing to you? When these medicines out here can fuck you up, man. These medicines can fuck you up. So you had somebody like Dr. Sabi who 
brought the whole idea of alkaline, having a, a balanced pH. Because I'm going to be honest with you, a lot of things that I believe that we go through as black men and black women is because of the, the, we ain't, our shit is off. You know, our pH is off. We off. You understand what I'm saying? To the point where our minds just be going into all different types of different avenues and directions and bullshit and this and this and this. And we love that shit. Niggas love to be dumb, y'all. Niggas love to be stupid. Niggas love it. Niggas love to be stupid. You understand what I'm saying? These niggas be saying dumb shit every day on the social media. These niggas love it. They love it. So what if you were able to be able to take some type of herb or some type of something from the ground? Because what black people don't understand is that black people, you have what's called melanin. Melanin is it makes you a carbon copy of the earth, you be. You from you from you you plant base. You ain't supposed to be eating red meat a lot. You ain't supposed to be. These are things that your your ancestors did not grow up eating this shit like this right now. There were no nuggets, nigga. There was none of that, nigga. You understand what I'm saying? If you was all the way alkaline, man, you that's why some of us live. You know, the last reported slave, the last reported slave that they got living. Ah, see, they they trying to fuck with me. The last reported slave they got living was 130 years old. You understand what I'm saying? Exact reason they ain't about to bring you free healthcare. Well, you know what I'm saying? See, that's the thing. Like, I mean, yeah, we, we should be we should be able to get free healthcare. I mean, you know what I'm saying? We should be able to. They got documentaries out about that. I mean, the one sicko, that was a good one. You know what I mean? That Michael Moore. That was a good one. But you know what I mean? Let me let me get back on track right quick before they shut me all the way down. I ain't about to be on here much longer. I appreciate everybody that's been on here, man. Let me let me wave at let me wave at the people, man. I appreciate this. Of course, I know this is like a hot topic and all that other shit. But I wanna say, man, is that you know what I mean? When you when you when you have someone like a savvy man who, you know, what he wanted you to do was basically have herbs. And use different herbs, and and these herbs can be used in your food, tea. You understand what I'm saying? These are things that Sabi, you know, he said that basically, if you have a lot of mucus in your body, mucus is the first step to being in a acidic level, and that's how you get diseases. That's how you get the cancer. That's how you get all these other type of things because it starts with some type of mucus that causes an infection in your body. And I'm a testament to that because if you look at anybody that's asthmatic, all right, anybody that's asthmatic, the majority of the time when you hear somebody coughing and coughing and woofing and they're asthmatic is because they're probably drinking milk. You understand what I'm saying? The first time, anytime you go to a doctor or a nutritionist, they're going to always ask you, what are you eating? They're going to ask you that. Any doctors want to ask you, hey, what are you eating out here? Don't think we tell them, man. Be victim. Well, we, I mean, yeah. So, hold on. Something. Uh, all of a sudden, being vitamin D deficient, but we're told. Man. Yeah. And that's a misconception. Just like people think that you have to eat meat to get protein. So, a cow, that's where the meat comes from that some people eat. Cows eat grass, though, yo. Cows are plant-based animals. They eat grass. But we got to eat the meat? Nigga, explain that to me. You know what I'm saying? You can get minerals. You can get minerals from magnesium. You can get minerals from um, biotin. You can get minerals from... Man, you can get minerals that, well, that, I mean, kale. You can get minerals from... Grand and uh, Grand Granny Apples, man. You can look, man. You can get minerals out here, B. It's just that niggas don't niggas love to eat that processed shit. Niggas love that chicken with the little salt, little sprinkle shit on it from the from the A Rabs. They love that shit. They love it. Niggas go eat that shit every motherfucking weekend. So look, man. All I want to say is this. I think that because I'm about to get off this shit. 
I think that, you know what I mean, Nipsey Hussle did a few things. Nipsey Hussle took Dr. Sabi to a whole nother level because Dr. Sabi's been trending. That's why a lot of people, a lot of people didn't even know about Sabi, yo. That's what I'm saying, man. A lot of people don't even know shit. You understand what I'm saying? And that's what makes it hard for a nigga like me. A nigga like me, I'm not going to bullshit you. I feel like my brain is in 2030-something, and I'm dealing with 2019 mental niggas out here. I'm dealing with 2019 feeble-minded niggas that's really below that. Really, their mind is 18, 19. You understand what I'm saying? Shit. Think, man, look, man. I think it rolls Sabi to a whole nother level. I think at least for this week, because I think all this shit's going to die down. Something else going to happen. I think a, there was a school shooting in Arkansas or something today, I believe. But I, I don't even, I don't even know if that was trending because I know Sabi and I know Nipsey was trending hard. So I just think that we learn from this man that we have to police ourselves. We have to really try to come together. And get things together as people. We need to get on code. Stay on code. Because I believe we've been staying on code. Because of people like Tariq Nasheed. People like um, the Black Authority. People like uh, Pro Black. Uh, Umar. Uh, Red Pill. Blue Pill. Phil Valentine. All these, all these elders. Man, all these people. They've helped us raise our vibranium. And our algorithm. And we've been on some type of code. We ain't falling for the Camila, Camila Harris's and all this other dumb shit. We ain't falling for that no more. So when it comes to shit like this with Nipsey Hussle, yeah, man, it was a conspiracy, man. If you think that niggas is getting five, shot five times in the chest and one in the head and that's getting done from a snitch-ass nigga, come on, B. We got to police ourselves. We got to do better. We got to organize, man. We got to get this shit kicking, man, because... They ain't about to slow this up, man. This is the month of April. In the month of April, man, we be cautious out here. There's going to be a lot going on in this month, man. But, yo, I appreciate everybody that checked in with me, man. Appreciate everybody. I ain't going to lie. When that nigga, when Nipsey died, man, I shed a goddamn tear, nigga. I felt like Pac got shot, nigga. That's how I felt when Pac got shot. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I can't, I can't forget Bobby Hammett. I can't forget Bobby Hammett. Bobby, I can't forget Bobby Hammett. Definitely Bobby Hammett. Bobby Hammett is that dude. He's still alive. He's not doing lectures no more because I believe they did something to him. But you can go check his content out all on. Bobby Hammett was that dude. But you know what I'm saying? Like I said, man, be cautious here in the month of April, man. You're going to see a lot of shit popping off. Um, ComedianJScott.com, man. Hit me up on all social medias. Hit me up in my inbox, man. I'm down to do whatever type of building. I right, yo, Sax, I need a holler at you, though, bro, because um, I may need a, you know what I'm saying? I may need some uh, some networking going on, man. Thinking about trying to see about doing something in that, man. You know what I mean? That's another thing, man. My home city, it, it, it can go down my home city, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking like movies. Because content is about to get us about this shit. You understand what I'm saying? Imagery. Imagery is everything right now. Imagery is everything right now. You understand what I'm saying? Imagery is everything right now. Ah, oh, this nigga Aaron. He you know, on here right when I'm about to get off. Imagery is everything. You understand what I'm saying? Imagery is everything. So, sax, man. I'm going to try to get at some of y'all. You know what I'm saying? And that, man. See about, you know, about a project we can get on with. But look, man, I'm out, man. Hey, hey. Damn, dog. Hey. Try. Try. God damn, dog, man. Yeah, man. But yeah, appreciate that, man. Hit me up, man. Social media, man. Comedian J. Scott, man, on everything. You know what I'm saying? You can hit my hashtag, man. WTF. P R O B L E M B. What the F is your problem? B. They'll bring up all the all the content I got, man. It'll come up on that. You understand? But hey, oh, I'm out, man. Appreciate everybody that tuned in, man. Playback. Hey, if you hear this, man, share this, man. Share this shit. Share this shit. Hit the like button, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm out, man. Yup. Peace.